The reality is that WoW is quite an old game at this point, really pushing the engine to the absolute max and with the universe being set up to be reset and all, it might just be the perfect time for World of Warcraft 2, one of the longest speculations in the history of the series. On the other side though, that would be a complete huge mess, splintering the audience, everyone losing all the progress that they built over a decade, new game being built from scratch, so how likely is is WoW 2 really? Is it possible or is it just a wild fantasy? Check out Gamevo, this video is sponsored where you can get almost any game, DLC, Shadowlands and Human Game Time at discounted prices. Use code Oron for an even larger discount by clicking the link in the description. A few years ago, I would think this would just be a complete fantasy, really why would they want to have two separate versions of the game going on at the same time, however with Classic and now TBC being released and actually doing quite well, a future version of WoW doesn't really seem all that outlandish, of course this would be a completely brand new game as in the case of Classic they just reused the old version what was already built, so obviously there was a lot less work involved. On the other hand, if they built WoW 2, this would literally be a completely brand new game built from scratch and obviously in a new engine. If they decided to use a different art style, literally everything would need to be recreated. The only thing they would have would be the general infrastructure, the lore, the world setting and some of the game design, but they would pretty much need to create every model again, build every city and every character and realistically that would be a 5 year project at best estimate but probably just way longer than that. Just imagine that it takes 2 to 3 years for a single expansion to come out and there they reuse a lot of the old stuff and they already have the game built so they just add on to it. In the case of Cataclysm that is when they had to rebuild half the world but of course the game was still there and created new zones from scratch and many Blizzard devs said it was the hardest thing they had ever done so realistically seeing how Blizzard handled BFA, Shadowlands, Patch is Warcraft 3 Reforged, I really don't think they would be up to task to create something 10 times more complex and difficult. In fact, this would be such a high stake project that I don't know what studio I would put my trust in to create it really well as this wouldn't be just a regular game and expectations for this would be gigantic. However, real world concerns aside, deadlines and you know economy and all that, let's just imagine how cool this would really be. If you had seen the latest Unreal Engine for example, what it is capable of, well just imagine what WoW would look like in such an engine in like 5 to 10 years. Fans have recreated some of the zones so you can just let your imagination run wild but just imagine something similar to the pre-rendered cinematics that you have all seen just as a game. Obviously not that high in quality but more leaning towards that in the current cartoonish stylized version. Graphics aside, gameplay would obviously be the most important factor so WoW could be catered to the current market and they could also learn from a lot of the mistakes of WoW as they would start from scratch. However, there would be one major problem if something like this happened and I'd say that is the biggest issue and that is what would happen with the current World of Warcraft. I honestly believe this is a main concern because I really wouldn't want to just abandon the game after investing nearly 15 years into it and the same could be said for all of you that have played it for a really long time. Who would just want to abandon all the achievements? mounts and all that stuff. With classic it is a bit different as people are mainly nostalgic with the game they played previously and you have on one side progressing retail and you can also play the old version, however if they abandon WoW in general and go on a new project, that would kinda ruin the previous two versions and WoW retail currently would kinda stop. So if they could create some sort of a sync like continuation that you can use your old characters, that might be a really good idea. The only problem here would be setting, would the game be just the same? game recreated, which I think is kinda dumb, it would just be updated graphics, or would it be similar to other games where it is like a different era, like Elder Scrolls Online and Skyrim, for example we could go into the era of the titans or maybe just around Warcraft 1 and that orcish human war that is so iconic to the Warcraft series, the only issue there would be if that happens there would be no way to sync old characters as half of the playable races that we currently have wouldn't be available, so 
I guess you can see how much this project really is a headache. Sounds cool, would be cool to see and would be cool to play, would definitely just shake up the MMORPG scene to the core, but there's like a million and one problem involved with it. Additionally, MMORPGs are not really all the hype these days, so I doubt someone would be willing to invest like a hundred million dollars into this project, if not more. Now, on the other side, let's look at something a bit more realistic, but also a tad bit problematic. A WoW reset, but not a new game, just a different version of the current one. As you all know, the Jailer is looking to undo the universe, break the first one mechanism that is seemingly keeping the reality as it is. So, if for the first time ever, a villain succeeds in his mission, we could have a completely recreated world, sort of a fresh start, a whole bunch of things could happen. Azeroth being a first one or leaving the planet, which would be a justification to recreate Azeroth, the afterlife no longer serving as a mechanism that would obviously heavily influence every single mortal in the entire universe. For example, if you don't just die and go to the afterlife, they would make every decision on the entire world completely different. I know people are speculating a brand new game coming out of this, but really just like WoW 2, that really is kind of a wild fantasy. Something more realistic could be akin to a new cataclysm, where the world could be reconstructed and a brand new setting created, so we could get the game refreshed and the cosmological power scale down quite a bit. However, in terms of the graphics, the only thing that could be done would be some of the old zones being built in the style of the new ones, which in my opinion would be a really huge thing, as really we have some old zones that have not changed whatsoever since Classic, which do look kind ridiculous in comparison to the up-to-date stuff. How they could pull this off would be with a new world soul waking up or whatever the power is inside Azeroth, just abandoning the planet, causing something akin to a new Sundering. Maybe it could be like a reverse Sundering where the continents would reunite in the Kalimdor instead of further splitting away. Interestingly enough, as really we have gone off the charts with the cosmological struggles as we are pretty much going into the core of the universe itself, the Jailer could really be set up perfectly to scale everything back down, maybe he actually succeeded and the universe reverts back to normal and whatever is inside of Azeroth just gets used up. So we no longer have every cosmological force wanting to get Azeroth to invade and we're no longer fighting in spaceships and we could get something a bit more worldly. Now if not worldly, then at least not us facing the actual creators of the universe themselves going through the afterlife or looking into the engine of the cosmos. We might get back to like faction wars or something Azeroth related. I've made a video covering 10 possible expansions after Shadowlands that you can check out but there are obviously just plenty of possibilities to make something on the planet. So while I think WoW 2 as a brand new game is really just a fantasy and that the reset of Azeroth is also kinda outlandish, I do think it is about 10 times more likely as a new game coming out and honestly something like this might actually be a perfect way for Blizzard to go forward and to salvage the mess that has been going on for a few years. Thank you for watching, check out why Ardus is the best villain by clicking on the screen and also check out the Runs Academy for real world history and science. See you next time.